Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a brand new Kata bag called the 3-in-1 35PL. It's the second bag uh, in the ProLite series that we have. We did a review on the torso pack a little while ago. If you want to check that out on the, our YouTube site, that's fine. Um, Today, basically taking, trying to kill two birds with one stone. We're up in the Muskokas, a couple hours north of Toronto, doing a photo shoot. But at the same time, we thought we could shoot some video for YouTube and give you guys a look at this brand new bag. When I took it out of the box, I was actually surprised. Uh, on Kata's website, it looks a little bigger, but um, when you open the bag and start putting your gear in it, it holds a ton of gear and it's super versatile. It's got all Kata's all new lightweight materials. So let's take a quick look at the bag and I'll show you what it's all about. On the front of the bag, there's kind of an interesting zipper pull here. Kata's got their high-tech high foam material, they call it a spine guard, and basically it just protects the front of the bag uh, from impacts, and, and being super lightweight, you just fold it back into the pocket like so, and zip it up, you don't even know it's there. Now the bag itself, they, it's called 3-in-1, and the reason for the 3-in-1, I've got it set up here in a backpack configuration. There's also a belt harness to go around your waist. However, you notice that the shoulder straps are color-coded. So the bag itself is ambidextrous. You can take your, your harness straps here and interchange them. And by doing so, the bag is going to sling either to the right or to the left and give you access to your gear through either the right side or the left side. So in my case, I open the quick release, undo the zippers, and I've got quick access uh, to my camera like so. So that's a great feature and can be set up for the left side as well. So let's close this up. Just zip this up. On the front of the bag, there's a couple of small zipper pulls, a couple of small pouches here. And in this one, I've got the tripod holder. And the tripod holder is kind of cool. We were using it earlier in the day. Uh, basically has a couple of metal cleats on the front of it. And all you got to do is hook the cleats into the bottom of the bag like so, and the two legs from your tripod are going to fit here. And then inside where the uh, shock absorber is, there's a couple of loops where you can use this strap. You run it through the loop and then around your tripod and you get your tripod, you can carry it to wherever you're hiking to. So that's a great feature. Another small pocket on the other side. And I think we just have some uh, spare dividers in there, but you could put a little owner's manual for your camera, whatever you have in there. iPhone would fit in here. Um, probably one of the, the best features that I like is this little uh, compartment on top. And I say little, it's really deceiving. I'll tip it down for you. I've got everything in here from my iPhone, spare batteries, uh, some light radio slave triggers in here, you name it. It's fairly large capacity pocket up front. And on either side, do this back up. To access this large compartment here, there's two small zippers on the side. I've got my Hoodman hood loop in this one here. And do this one up on the other side. I think we've got our Hoodman right angle viewer. So these pockets are fairly bulky as well. You can get a few uh, good size items in there. On the top of the bag also, there's two quick release clips like so, and two zippers. And once you open the zippers, you've got access to a fair size laptop compartment. So this compartment here is going to gobble up a 15 inch uh, MacBook. We've got a 13 inch MacBook we use, so you need to take your laptop with you. With this bag, you're all set. Okay, so carrying on here, one thing I, I neglected to mention on the back of the bag, I just want to show it to you now, is that if you disconnect your uh, backpack harness straps, like so, the straps actually can be tucked inside uh, this panel on the back of the bag, which is great. Both straps will fit inside and so will the belt straps. So we'll just do that for you now so you can have a look. Tuck those in.
probably not doing the neatest job here while shooting the video, but uh, that's okay. But the idea is both the belt straps go in tucked out of the way, both the shoulder straps can be tucked in, and then you're left with a heavy duty carry handle if that's the, the configuration you want to use for the bag. And the, this a uh, three-in-one pack will also accept the uh, Kata's insert trolley. So the handle of the insert trolley will slide inside the, the loop on the back of the bag. So that's a great feature. And that leaves us with, uh, last but not least, let's take a look on the front and we'll show you all the storage uh, that you have on this bag. So there's four quick release clips on the front of the bag. And once they're released, your zipper will slide all the way around and you can really get a good look at the capacity of the bag. So here we've got full-size digital SLR with a grip attached, 70 to 200 lens. Got another wide angle lens here. I've got my speed light over here. Uh, let's open this up a little bit here for you. And then up top here, I've got a couple of smaller lenses. There's a 28 to 105. Uh, what do we got in here? Smaller 50 millimeter lens. So just depends on whether you want to configure the bag. In this situation here, I've got the camera this way, but it's ambidextrous. The, um, the inserts and all the little uh, foam padding with the Velcro on them, you can configure it any way that you want. So if you really wanted to have your camera on this side, no problem at all. It, it's really just up to you. You can play around with it and sort it out, get it set up the way you want. And of course, the bag comes with a rain cover like all the Kata bags do. So, and it's a two-sided rain cover, silver on one side, black on the other. Covers the whole bag if you get caught in a downpour. So if you're looking for a bag that's super versatile, super lightweight, uh, it's a sling bag, or you can wear it as a backpack, or you can put it on an insert trolley if you need to, the Kata 3-in-1 35PL is a great choice. Go out and buy it with confidence. And uh, I hope you enjoyed our little foray into the great white north here. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.